Welcome everyone and thanks for joining me for episode 10 of my Manchester United career on a Football Manager 2019. Thanks for joining me for this Champions League quarter-final first leg against Liverpool. We are at Anfield. Some of the games have already been played. Real Madrid beating Man City at home. Spurs beating Inter Milan. And that brings us to today. Wednesday the 10th of April, we are at Anfield. It's Liverpool against Manchester United. One of the biggest fixtures of the season in the Champions League as well. It's the uh, the first leg. We've got that slight advantage of playing away. Hopefully we can come here, score a, an away goal or two. And looking at our previous meetings, it's quite evenly matched. We've beaten them once, we've drawn with them once, and they've beaten us once, unfortunately, which was that Premier League game at Old Trafford when they came from behind with that winner from Roberto Firmino. Ander Herrera is back, although he is battling for fitness with his um, sharpness, match sharpness, but he should be okay to start this game. We do have Fellaini as an option. He has been playing as um, in that position since Herrera has been out injured. We're going with the cautious mentality. Uh, slightly higher tempo, shorter passing. We could hit early crosses, but I'm going to work the ball into the box. We're going to be regrouping when the possession is lost. And we're going with a standard defensive line. And uh, that is about it. That is the team. I've already selected it. Romelu Lukaku, Paul Pogba reinstated into the lineup as they missed that disappointing 2 0 collapse against Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup semi final at Wembley. So for Liverpool, then it's Allison that starts in goal. Matip, Van Dijk, Tierney do start. Henderson in midfield as captain. Emre Chan and Naby Keita in midfield. And of course, Mane, Salah, and Daniel Sturridge up top. I think they're probably without Firmino. Don't think they sold him in January. And you've already seen the Manchester United lineup. We do have Fellaini, Mata, Martial and Sanchez on the bench. Herrera back in. Jesse Lingard also in alongside Rashford and our top goal scorer Romelu Lukaku. We're going to be assertive then. Uh, could say we owe Liverpool. Don't want to say that just yet. We'll probably save that for half time. It all depends on the scoreline. It's Derby Day. Always look forward to it. We've looked good in training. Yeah, because Matic is unfortunately suspended for this game. Otherwise, if he um, if he wasn't, he would have been starting ahead of Fred without a doubt. So we get kickoff then. That's not the best of touches there from Marcus Rashford as he gives the ball away. And Liverpool already have a corner. Emery Chan. It's Naby Keita here. Please do not concede a penalty so early on. Jordan Henderson, they're stretching us here. No Salah, Mane. Good save, David De Gea. It's going to be yet another corner. Under two minutes gone. They've already had two corners, Liverpool. Looking for a quick start here. Emery Chan. It's Mane. Just lingering around outside the penalty area. Herrera win. Oh, well. Almost won the ball back off Virgil van Dijk. That's it. Push him back. So we can uh, regroup our team shape. We've already had three shots, one on target. PSG have gone a goal ahead against Bayern Munich in their quarter-final game. Where to Fred. Good searching ball forwards to find Lukaku, but it's Lingard's touch that lets him down there. Here's Mo Salah, who's now playing on the left, and it's full of Mane. It's 1-0 Liverpool, and 10 minutes hasn't even passed here at Anfield. That's not the start we wanted. Liverpool, they've started off quick and they've been rewarded with that goal from Sadio Mane. That's his 14th of the season. Mo Salah, who switched sides with him, runs into the box, crosses it. Lindelof. Not sure what Shaw's doing. Backing up there with Lindelof. That's quite disappointing to see. The way we've um, gone about our business this season, especially at the back, we haven't conceded that many goals, but to let in something like that that is very uh, very disappointing Alexander Arnold on a yellow now quite early on as well so he's going to have to watch it see if we can suck him into getting sent off have to wait and see we've got a throw here Luke Shaw how, how do we respond as a team Fred needs to be getting to that ball he loses it to Sturridge he's just half arsed it there Fred he's been after 
regular first team footballer I've given it to him and how does he repay me by not pulling his finger out here is Marcus Rashford going all the way here finds Lukaku yes away goal that's what we need good response Marcus Rashford doing what's expected of him by grabbing the ball by the horns and getting stuck in look at the way he just drives forwards ball close to his feet through the central defensive pairing of Gomez and Van Dijk and he finds Lukaku I love the way Lukaku just played off the shoulder of the full back pulling him inside and he gets the better of him slotting that into the bottom corner so one shot one goal from Manchester United and it's an important one it's an away one and we've got a free kick here Pogba takes Lindelof back out wide to Pogba it's it oh dear no one getting on the end of it as it's gone out for a goal kick and it's 1-1 then all to play for here at Anfield Lind Lindelof down to a 6.3 it's probably because of that early goal conceded against Mane his positioning certainly wasn't the best as 30 minutes has gone not much else happening here in this game and you know I'm alright with that but saying that, they've got a corner here. Shaw off the line. Navi Keita. Rashford finds Lukaku. Come on now. It's poor, poor pass to Lingard. Seems as though there's like no communication there between Lukaku and Lingard. But as I was saying, I'm happy with there being no highlights. I'd be happy to come away with a draw with it being the first leg. Take that away goal into the second leg and we'll have them at home. We will certainly take them at Old Trafford. I'm more than confident we can do that. As we approach half time here then. Sadio Mane and a 7.1. Lindelof, his performance going from bad to worse here. Alexander Arnold has his free kick, hit the side netting. Lindelof down to a 6.1. Oh dear. Looks like I'm going to have to take him off at some point then. Mane out wide to. Alexander Arnold, Salah's header into the arms of David De Gea. Still 1 1 here. So at least take it into half time, all square here, and we can uh, we can regroup from there. Van Dyke, they're playing with quite a high line here. It's a good seeking ball to find Salah. And again, David De Gea comes out and saves, clutches it tight. So we're heading into half time. I'm not sure whether. It's wise to take off Lindelof. I know he's not performing to his best. He's at a 6.1 rate. And I'm going to be assertive here. I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen from this team. Good reaction. Everyone looking fired up. I'm going to be calm with Lindelof. And with him being on the yellow card as well. I'm going to say pressure's off tonight. I want you to go out there and just play a natural game. And with Lingard who's also underperforming. I'm going to be assertive. You weren't that bad but I believe... Um, I'm not happy with his performance and he looks fired up and two right two being against Liverpool as well he knows how much this game means to uh, to the club and to the fans be nice to go back to uh, to Old Trafford in the second leg with maybe a 2-1 win against Liverpool we're just going to bring the line of engagement down to standard so there's not that many gaps open for Liverpool to get behind. And here's Mo Salah now with a cross into the box from the free kick. Mane, he's already on the score sheet. Salah again. Straight at Lingard. Here is Lingard now. And again, another poor pass. He had all the space and time to give it to Lingard. And what does he do? Gives it away. Mo Salah. Lingard again. There we go. Finally, he's moving the ball forwards. And that's a poor touch from Lukaku. Lingard again. It's took a deflection there and it's fell to the feet of Jordan Henderson. Henry Chant. Right wide to Mo Salah. It's all Mo Salah, isn't it? And he's gone all the way here and it's David De Gea that stands in his way, keeping the game all level still. Very lucky there. Mo Salah finds Rashford. It's Van Dijk. It's pinballing at the moment. Going to ask the assistant to change, make some changes. And I think what we'll do with Salah actually is pressing intensity is on. So we'll 
say never to that because pressing on a player like Salah he's always going to lose his mark and we've gone a goal down great Van Dijk just like his counterpart in Victor Lindelof was having a poor game until now he's gone and headed that in and put Liverpool in the lead once again good strong header from Virgil van Dijk and is that Marcus Rashford yet that was on him failed to get any anything on the ball I think we're going to have to make a few changes then All right small in on for Lindelof your game is finished son and we'll leave it at that for now and I think Lingard's probably next being at 6.2 not happy with that expected more let's do it now actually we'll bring on Mata for, uh, for Jesse Lingard and to think up next in the Premier League we've got Man City at home and then we've got to play Liverpool again also at home hopefully that will work in our, our favour having to play at home for those two games but to think we've lost to, to Blackburn in the FA Cup and we could potentially lose this game to Liverpool two games on the bounce lost maybe for Manchester United Unless we can salvage maybe another equaliser here. That would be very nice. Two away goals into the uh, to take into the second leg. Would be very nice indeed. But the way we're going about things at the moment. I mean what's Fred doing here? Putting De Gea under a bit of pressure. Virgil van Dijk controls it. Of all the times you want your the opposition to head the ball away to your own player. It happens to us but the computer it doesn't Valencia oh dear Valencia failed to get rid of the ball failed to get any touch on it at all thankfully we have De Gea in goal if we hadn't I think it would probably be 3-1 now to Liverpool and this game would be uh, almost out of sight for us even for the second leg at Old Trafford be a big ass to turn things around This will be a big confidence boost as well for Liverpool in their hopes for winning the Premier League. Maybe overturning things out. I mean, they're five points behind us at the moment. But there's still, what, six, seven games yet to be played. It's a lot of football still. It's Valencia with the throw. It's Fred back to Valencia. Never wants to commit to anything else, does he, Fred? Naby Keita storming forwards here for Liverpool. It's gone for goal. And it's gone wide. I think we're just going to have to cut our losses and, and take the 2-1 two -one, two -one defeat. At least we've got that away goal. I'm going to put Fellaini there as a ball. Box to box midfielder. And we'll take Fred off. And put Herrera as the deep lion playmaker. So yeah, it looks like we're going to, we're going to lose the first leg then to Liverpool. But we've got that away goal. And again, I'm feeling pretty confident that we can overturn it with this playing at Old Trafford. That's saying if we can bounce back after these two losses on the bounce to Blackburn and Liverpool in our next game against Man City. If we can beat City at Old Trafford, then that'll give us the confidence to go on and hopefully beat Liverpool in the second leg. Here's Juan Mata with a free kick. Can he find anyone? No, he can't. As there's the full-time whistle and it's finished. Liverpool 2, Manchester United 1. Romelu Lukaku though, thank you for getting that all-important away goal. Going to be calm and lucky boys. It would have been nice to win, but it wasn't to be. I hate saying that because we've just lost and also because it's Liverpool, but you've got to keep morale high, especially heading into our next two games against City and Liverpool again. You've got to uh, keep the players relaxed. You've got to keep them motivated and not be too harsh on them at such a, a critical time in the season. Because if you do, if you start laying into them, if you start finding them, they're just going to throw their toys out the pram and they're just going to dig their heels in and you're just going to get poor result after poor result. So you've got to be very, very careful, very pragmatic. I know it does hurt and you do want to lay into them, especially losing against one of your biggest rivals, but you just got to think ahead with, uh, with what's coming up for the team, for the club. We're still in with a shout for the Premier League. Well, we're in the driver's seat for the Premier League title. We're still in with a shout for the Champions League. So a lot still to uh, to play for this season. So up next, we've got Man City in 
the Premier League and then we play Liverpool in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. Do not miss it. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a roller coaster. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.